The last area that I want to talk about is something that you may have heard about. Uh, if you're a, a product manager, you've definitely experienced, and that's the idea of imposter syndrome. Um, for people who are just getting into product management, or even people who have just transitioned to a new company doing product management, you always hit the idea of, I shouldn't be doing this. Why am I here? Why is someone trusting me to make sure that we're solving this for the users? And you get over it from experience, and I'm sure other people who have experienced it, you get over it, but it's, it's a little hard, and it's really just a, it's a confidence thing. And what I want to share is that there are ways that you can gain confidence specifically around imposter syndrome, both in startups and in business school. So in the startup realm, everyone comes into a product having these lofty goals of, I want to change the world, I want to reinvent the way people commute, I want to do all of these things. And what I've found, um, and what I found from talking to other people in startups is, if you can break down lofty goals into very manageable milestones and celebrate those milestones, it allows you to really feel confident and it allows your team to feel confident that you're succeeding in what you're trying to do. And that helps break down some of these, these ideas of doubt. All imposter syndrome is is doubt in yourself or doubt in your team. And it's not really real, it's just something that you will, you will experience in product management. 